you are alone. But you have your squad and you've given them names and now they are walking like ducks. Each step they take you check to see if anything happens to them. Step. Check. Nothing. Step. Check. Nothing. Perhaps mission control was right and the Germans have left this area and you are just taking a walk through some war-torn town. But you suspect that that's not the case. Otherwise, why would you be here? Why would you be playing this game? Step. Check. Nothing. Step. Check. There is an explosion. Advanced Scout Peters has been destroyed. Dead. This is Ambush. Ambush is a solitaire game that takes place during 1944 in World War II. You are the spirit that controls a squad as they go on different missions. The missions are very different, but each takes place on one of two different hex maps that come with the game. If you look at the different hexes, they uh, each have a different uh, uh, coordinate, a letter and a number. Those coordinates are important because each time one of your squad members steps uh, onto a new hex, they you have to check to see if anything particular happens. And that's where this incredibly wonderful uh, component comes in. It's this sleeve with different cards. Now these cards here look like this before they're put into the sleeve and there's different cards for different missions and there's multiple cards per mission so as things happen in the mission you are going to change cards to sort of uh, propel the narrative um, there, there, there are different possibilities depending on what you've done in the past the card is slidable and has multiple uses so when you step on a new hex so for example if you stepped on E1, you could slide the card so that E matches up with 1 here and then you could look up in the view window to see that nothing happens. Um, if you were, say, stepping on H4, right here, you would see that something does happen and you would need to look up in the paragraph booklet what that was. Whenever anything happens in the game, whether it be landing on a particular hex or running into a German and you need to see what the German does, you're going to look it up in this paragraph book. It's kind of choose your own adventure except maybe a little more uh, in depth than those classic games, um, partially because of how the paragraph book interacts with everything else, the other components, uh, the, the, the map and the card sleeve and these German cards here. Your squad's time spent in the map is going to be in two two different categories, either operations or actions. Um, operations, they have a, a bit more freedom in terms of time. They, they can just kind of move guys as long as you're, you're checking what hexes they go in. Um, you don't really have to worry about how long things take or the time spent doing things. Um, as soon as a German appears, however, you are going to move into actions and then things uh, break down and you have to take turns and roll and things go very slow as bullets are flying through the air. Those bullets are deadly and if you're like me you have become somewhat attached to your squad. Um, they are you create them at the beginning of the game and as time goes on they can gain experience in this game called CP and get better. Um, and so when when something happens to them, uh, again, if you're like me, you care. That coupled with the slow checking of hexes at, when you're in operations phase, creeping along, creeping forward, never really knowing when the Germans will make their presence known, uh, makes for for a real tense experience during operations. Uh, you hope operations, if you're like me, <laughs> last as long as possible. One concern one might have prior to investing in this game is how replayable it is. How many times can you appreciate and enjoy Ambush before, before the surprise is worn off? Given that there are eight missions, 
uh, one might think that the game is finite, and in a way it is, but I would submit that it, uh, it would take a long time to, to be able to fully appreciate all of those missions. The missions take some time in and of themselves, and then there are also different options that one can uh, go into in each mission. Um, if it's the only game you own, maybe you might reach the end and find yourself wanting, but if you're like most people who play games, you have multiple games, and this won't be the only thing you experience. Plus, there are expansions out there, so you could make this really long series, have this really long series of missions, and I bet by the time you finish, you would forget most of what happened in the very first one. I think games are like books in a lot of ways, and um, this game maybe is more towards the, the book side, and just as you can appreciate a book that you've already read, uh, that is of some quality again, I think you could appreciate this as well. A big qualm I have with the game is how the squad's put together. This might not bother you, but when I was putting my squad together, I wanted to have one guy who was particularly good at shooting things, and another guy that was good at driving a car, and another guy that was good at scouting ahead, but it seemed like uh, the the squad creation mechanism is such that it, it makes the commander be good at everything, and then the other guys can kind of be good at some things. Um, over time, you can, when you when you cause them to go up in levels, you can focus in different areas and make them more specific like that. But I, I, I sort of wanted them to have a, a bit more natural talents rather than have one uber guy and all of his friends. The game has some significant errata as well, so uh, be sure to uh, pick that up online, the, the corrections. Um, but these two qualms are pretty small when you consider a game that is so innovative and immersive in terms of both emotion and narrative, especially considering that your main opponent is a, a bunch of evil automatons. Ambush!